What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and I'm very excited to bring to you a topic of this week's advanced Patreon course and that's something that you've been asking me for a long time to do a course on this topic and that's structure in Revit or Revit structure. So we're going to be exploring the structural tab and we're going to be first talking about how to approach the structural project, when to use the structural template and when to choose to uh, add structural elements within the architectural projects or when to attach your structural, uh, your architectural model to your Revit structure project. So if you want to check that out, it's up on my Patreon, first link in the description of this video. There also I talk about all of these tools and how to use them. We play around with placing beams, also placing a beam system, and then on top of that placing a floor, but not just a regular floor. If we go here into the section, you can see it's this floor that has this metal deck and I show you how to adjust that and how to play around with the metal deck so it looks uh, exactly how you want it to look. Also, I show you how to cope all of these elements like this. As you can see, this uh, beam is running through this column and the column has a hole for that beam, as you can see. So I show you how to do that. I show you how to create an opening, so just a regular, uh, uh, a regular shaft opening. But because we're, uh, we have that beam system, I show you how to alter the beam system so it has all of the necessary construction to make this opening work. So we have this additional member and then we have to make some additional adjustments to the beam system. Also, after we finish that, we create this open space top floor that doesn't have any columns in the middle by placing this truss on top. I show you how to cope all of the elements on the truss, how to change all of these, uh, the, the dimensions all of all of the elements of all of the beams or joists on that truss and then we copy everything in place. Also, so our building doesn't fall down, we add some bracing. So I show you how to import and uh, load and place bracing and how to cope it in place so it looks correct. And finally, to make our whole building stand on the ground, we create a uh, basically a foundation and it's a foundation that has a regular foundation with the that edge slab and also we have additional foundation in the middle for those two middle columns and in the section it looks something like this it looks really cool okay so those are all of the elements that we cover in th that I cover in this beginners course on a uh, Revit structure and I go over all of the tools that Revit has to offer for building a steel construction like this. So if you want to check that out or any of my other advanced courses, this is the 20th uh, advanced course that I've done so far. Check out my Patreon, first link in the description. All of them are one hour long or more. And also there you can get access to all of my Revit project files. So again, as I said, first link in the description, check that out if you want to see this. And of course, don't worry if you want just regular tutorials, I'll be back with that in a couple of days. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this announcement for my course on Revit structure. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for maybe future courses or regular tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.